The United States and the Netherlands in the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup final. Kate, there we see the odds. The U.S. are huge favorites. Now, finals tend to be a little boring, a little tense. These two teams don't really play that way. What do you expect tomorrow? Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a game in which you're going to see excellent defenses shutting down semi-attacking threats going forward. I think it's going to be all-out attacks mm. on both sides. Both these teams are built on offense, and they use that as a way to prevent the other team from ever getting the ball. So this should be a fascinating matchup with some of the best attackers in the game going at it for the chance to be World Cup champions. In her press conference today, Jill Ellis said what makes this Dutch team different from almost every other team the Americans have faced is that the Dutch want the ball. So does the U.S. So who's going to have the lion's share of possession tomorrow? Well, what they're saying is the Dutch is so comfortable possessing the ball. They build up through the three lines. Everyone gets a touch on it. Lots of ball rotation. The United States has basically been very direct, always doing an outlet ball to the left-hand side to the speedy winger looking for Alex Morgan or Kristen Press if she's in. So it's going to be a very direct U.S. style looking to capitalize and on any weaknesses against a Dutch team that's going to look to build up play. So it's exciting to, a game to watch. Hamstrings have been a big issue for this U.S. team throughout the tournament. Both Megan Rapino and Rose Lavelle have struggled with that part of their body. We think both of them will be available for this final. Does the U.S. need both of them to be able to beat this Dutch team? I think the United States ro needs Rose Lavelle more than they need Megan Rapino for this game. Megan Rapino, we got to see, was replaceable in mm -hmm. terms of the goal production with Kristen Press getting the nod to come in as her sub and putting a goal away in the first 12 minutes of the game. So conversely, Rose Lavelle is different. She is the breakout star for this team. She's the one that's doing something a little different, a little crafty, so, so much quality on that ball. Mm. I think you want her because it makes your attack a little less predictable. Speaking of injuries, Leek Martin, the number 11 for this Dutch team, is very, very good. She's got a toe injury, and at least during the open part of the Netherlands training session today, she did not train with the team. Can the Dutch even compete with this U.S. team if she's not on the field, Kate? No, without Leek Martin, she was the World Player of the Year in 2017. This Dutch team has no chance to compete against the United States. The Dutch, as much quality as they have going forward, arguably the same quality starting front three as the United States. It doesn't compare to the depth the United States has. That's something the Dutch does not. Leek Martin is a world-class player. They don't have anyone that can come in and replace her. It's been a big talking point over the last 24 hours. Of course, the Women's World Cup final on the same day as Copa America final mm -hmm. and the uh, Gold Cup final as well. Uh, Megan Rapino today in her press conference described it as unbelievable. She didn't mean <laughs> that in a good way. What do you think of that? Yeah, I think when you say interesting as a woman, that's usually a sign that mm. you're like, that's not a compliment. This wouldn't happen on the men's side. Tell me there's been one time in the history of the Men's World Cup final on that day having other competitions mm. scheduled. Yeah. If you can tell me a chance, and I would say, okay, then they're wrong to call us a gender sexism type of scheduling. But since they're not, since this has never happened, that's exactly what this is. All right, prediction time. Who you got? Oh, there's just so much attacking quality for both these sides. I do think there's going to be goals because both teams aren't really built on strong defenses. But I'm going to go the experience and the fact the U.S. will be fresher. Mm. They're playing. They get one more day's extra rest. They didn't go into extra time like the Netherlands did. Not to leave you in suspense, <laughs> but I'm going to go for to the United States. And they're going to do what the United States has never done when back-to-back -back world mm. champions. Only happened once in the history of the Women's World Cup. For more, sign up now for ESPN+.